Hey everyone, Morgan here. So today I have my top 10 survival items for a mom. These are things that are going to get you through everyday situation. You may not even use these things every single day, but when you need them, you need them. You know, like that's the whole premise of being prepared. When you need something, you need it. Not when you need something, you don't have it because you weren't prepared, right? Okay. So here are my top 10 items. Plus I'm going to have a couple bonus items at the end. First of all, snacks. Lots of snacks for yourself, for your children, for whoever, okay? Snacks are a lifesaver. I actually normally wouldn't have chocolate in my uh, snack bag here. I have my uh, Maxpedition crossbody bag here that I always carry with me. Um, and I normally wouldn't have chocolate in here, but it's winter, so I do, because it's okay. But in the Texas summer, I said no. <laughs> Next one, it's gonna be wipes. Any types of wipes, you could just do regular baby wipes. Like I have, I also have just regular, you know, baby wipes. I usually go to the travel section uh, and get the travel baby wipes. I really like those. Um, I, I usually just pile them up, you know, I get multiple at a time. In addition to wipes, tissues. I can't tell you how many times I have used a tissue to, you know, wipe dirt off or, you know, wipe something. Um, it, this isn't just for, you know, colds and things. Tissues are just great to have around, okay? Um, I, I just, like I said, I can't tell you how often I've used a tissue and, you know, in conjunction with a wipe. Next one is going to be a phone charger. And make sure that you actually have the charger that goes with your phone that actually connects the phone to the charger. Um, I think a phone charger is invaluable. You never know. Um, you know, you could just say you're going to go out to run some errands for a couple minutes and, uh, you know, it could turn into an, a couple, several hours because something bad or unexpected happens. So, so just be prepared and have an extra battery charger. Next one is gonna be hand sanitizer. Kids touch gross things, you touch gross things. Now, nobody wants to be sick, right? So when you're not in places where you can actually wash your hands, hand sanitizer is gonna be your best friend. Of course, washing your hands with soap is going to be better because this does even get rid of the, the good bacteria. However, I would rather you know, be safe when I'm out and about, you know, she's touched something gross on the floor, bada boom, bada bing, we're done, right? Lip balm. How is this a survival item? Ah, much better. That's how. And also, lip balm could be used as a fire starter. Ha <laughs> ha. Next one is going to be a flashlight. I like this keychain flashlight. Um, this is a Streamlight keychain flashlight. I really love this flashlight. I've been using it a lot. A flashlight is just great to have around, period. But my daughter likes to play around with flashlights sometimes, so it can actually be, you know, a good entertainment item too. And along with a flashlight, this is part of this number, okay, is going to be a little multi-tool. I like the little multi-tools that have uh, the scissors on it, like this um, Swiss Army knife. Again, I can't tell you how many times I've used these little scissors just for the most random things. So um, I would also suggest having just a little keychain, um, little Swiss Army knife like this. Next one, first aid. This is actually not the particular first aid one that I carry in my bag, but I wanted to show that it doesn't matter like how advanced your first aid kit is. I think it's important that everybody just carry a little first aid. This is a dollar. You can get this at Walmart. You can get this at the dollar store and it comes with alcohol swabs, band-aids, and some gauze. And you can add to it as well. Put some tweezers in there, you know, put some safety pins, whatever you want. Um, you know, you can add, take out, do whatever, but it's a dollar for this. Throw it in your bag, it could not be easier. Or make one yourself, totally up to you. Next, extra clothes. We're talking about moms here, right? So uh, I don't know about you, but I have really gone into these extra clothes all the time, especially for infants, you know, if they're spitting up or, you know, blowouts, you know, whatever the case may be, but even for toddlers as well. I mean, I, we, you know, especially she's potty training, you know, we're constantly having to change out clothing and things, not constantly, but you know, when we do, it's really nice to have those extra clothes. Um, and you know, I only carry like two extra pairs of, you know, socks and then weather appropriate clothes. Last one is gonna be energy. Any kind of energy, okay? You're a mom, let's face it. <laughs> You're gonna need all the energy you can get. Now, I'm currently pregnant, so I'm not taking any sort of caffeine, energy, nothing during my pregnancy. However, <laughs> that will definitely change once I'm not pregnant, okay? Um, there's like the military energy gum, 
This is Viter Energy Mince. I like the mince because you just pop it in, you know, and it just dissolves and then you get a little boost of energy. There's also, you know, five hour energy you could carry around. Uh, there's a bunch of energy gums, uh, but I really like this military energy gum. I've done a review of this and actually tried it and it's really good. Um, so, you know, there's lots of different energy choices. A couple bonus items that I think every person in general should have with them, especially moms, a good knife. Every mom should really have a good knife. A Swiss Army knife is cool and all, but you really gotta have a good knife. In addition to the knife, I would honestly say any sort of self-defense. Mace, you know, um, something, one of those like little cat uh, defense, you know, things that you have in your keychain. Um, a firearm, if you're comfortable with that, you know, I would say any sort of defense item. I wouldn't necessarily look at a knife as a defense item, though you could if you have proper training. But, uh, you know, again, um, you know, I think everyone should have at least a knife on them. This one in particular was actually a trade with uh, Birdshot, and I absolutely love this knife. It is my, like, one of my everyday carries um, that I've been carrying around for months um, when I can. And, uh, yeah, I just think that everyone should have a good knife on them. Another bonus item, water. Every mother, every person in general should always carry water with them. Doesn't matter if you're gonna be gone for two minutes, two hours, two days, it doesn't matter. Water, 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 water. Carry it with you, you never know what's gonna happen. Get a water bottle, refill them, carry it with you. I cannot tell you how important and invaluable carrying around a water bottle has been for me and others around me. So there's always more things that we can carry, of course, but those are just my top 10 uh, for moms specifically. I will be doing a, like a top 10 everyday carry that I think everybody should have at a later time. But um, that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye.